But he'd arrive back here. Wait, by post? No, telephone. So he called he, he when called he was here? When he arrived in the and States. Where in the States? West, the West Coast. Where but let me just ask, you were just hanging out, you didn't know this call was coming, all of a sudden yeah. you got a call that says, I'm back. I thought he was still in Korea. So, A, you don't even know he's alive. So no. you know, oh my gosh, you're not only alive, but you're in this country. Right. Were you bawling? I don't remember. <laughs> no, she probably forgot about him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I Earl forgot who? About Earl who? Oh. <laughs> no, I, um... She was about to get another boyfriend. I, can't, I was too busy, believe me, with three kids, right? Yeah. Uh, alone. Um, three kids. Can you imagine that? Sorry. I had a, the call that he was in the States and he would come home as soon as he could. So, okay. So this one this morning. Uh, Thank God I you were there. Call. It's not like you have a voicemail. You know, it's not like you had a machine to tell you. Like, no. if you weren't there to pick up, you're He said, I'm, com I'm coming into Trenton Station this afternoon at such and such a time. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? <laughs> that was it. I'm good so I quick call my neighbor and Harris. Say, come and help me get the kids ready. Yes. I have to go and meet it, meet Earl at the Trenton. Oh my gosh! So I had got a car from. An so old you car drove at that point. What, yeah, you see, what, a, what my brother's old car, an old Chevy convertible, not a convertible. Fifty dollars. How, for how much? Fifty. Well, it was an old one of his, so he, I. But you go ahead. So, so he drove that in, okay, and picked me up. I was surprised because we never had a car. So, so here comes your hot wife with your three kids in a brand in a new car. Well, and they meet me at the bottom of the steps, and I couldn't believe it. Okay. Oh my god! Did you gosh. recognize her right away? Oh yeah, yeah. And the kids? Were the kids? Well, I didn't recognize the kids because well, I hadn't seen them. What to do? How did they know? They didn't know this weird big guy <laughs> oh, here in this outfit. They didn't know who. But I was. was it? Oh my god! I would be bawling. I would have Glenn, been. Glenn. Well, Glenn was. Um, I guess how old at that point? Five. Uh, okay, he was. So five's old. old, like he couldn't. He, yeah, so they didn't know their father at all. I mean, just from pictures and so on. But I know, but was there? Ex and I remember all these people were staring at us, and yeah. I'm thinking, oh God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, <laughs> quit looking at us. We and everyone was, oh, oh yeah. Was he in uniform? Yeah, of course he was still in the army at that point. Oh, he was just coming home on leave. Yeah. <laughs> so you pick him up yourself with your three kids. Mm -hmm. I. I I mean, I can't even imagine what that reunion... And that was it. As far as you knew, you were done. You didn't have to go back. Yeah, I, I, had to go go back. back. I had to go back. Okay. I just, Wait, you I went just, back after that. I was home I was home on a 30-day leave at that point. Okay. Gave me 30 days. Oh, my gosh. Because you were two years. Two years, yep. Oh, my gosh. So how you do you go back years. after that? So you spent 30... Was it weird, Grandma? Was it so weird well, having him in your weird house? weird because, uh, you know, you've been you used to running everything yourself yes. and you do things a certain way. And yes, and then all of a sudden you have to feed this person. And he yes. needs the toilet seat up. And... <laughs> He's hanging around to, and I, to, trying to teach the kids stuff and I don't want him to do it that way. And, oh, dear, it's not easy when you yeah. first get back together. Sure. But uh, you get over that. So and you have to feed home. another mouth. Now you're like, before you're hanging out in your PJs all day, now you have to actually get dressed, feed the, <laughs> feed another mouth. It's, a, it's hard work. It, it's hard yeah. work for him, too. How do you apply financially with his checks? Every, the at the end of every month, they send you a check from the Army. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And was it substantial? Then, no, but... Not really. Not really, <laughs> but, but nothing, our bills were like $69 a month for our mortgage. 63 I mean, Oh, Sixty-nine, but Levittown wow. was so great for that's Support. why it was such a great place because we were all coming back from the army. You were all moms. Yeah, we were all moms. young moms together, and uh, you know, we, none of us were wealthy because we were living on army money. Right. It, it was a great place. But army money was not enough to. Well, we get orders. used to it. You live on what you got. You'll get it. Yeah, but yeah. it wasn't. It, you you didn't feel like you were hungry. The kids. You weren't having. She was telling me earlier stories of when she was a kid, how the rations and during the war in England, yeah. they'd get one egg a month. They had no sugar. I mean, like legitimate. That was like below yeah. food. Like you actually had enough money to have food for your kids. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it wasn't a lot, but you got used to living on it, and it was okay. You know, yeah. Wow, I can't even imagine. All right, so you're home for a month. Were you just dreading going? I mean, I, I can't imagine you'd want well, to. I was dreading going back. Yeah, I can't even yes. imagine that. Either that, well, actually, either that or the opposite. That like you were so used to a routine in the military, the civilian life was very. Well, by amazing. then no, you've been doing of, almost five years. Right. His life yeah, because, was. Well, also. actually, uh, by the time I had reserves and everything else, it was almost eight years. But you know, for service time. Eight years service time. Yeah. 
was 10 reserves yeah. overseas, Europe, and then uh, Korea. That, I mean, that's seven years right but there. But your combat was the worst was Korea for two years. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that, that, this month we're talking, when you came back to Levittown for a month and you went back, did you go back to combat? Uh, no, I didn't go back overseas. Oh, <laughs> thank no, God. But I did when I kept, got home, I said, I got to get out of this damn army. Good okay. for you. So I got all of my congressmen, okay? Oh, really interesting. And I said, you're going to, he said, well, you, you, you enlisted. I said, I don't, I don't give a damn what I did. I said, I, you get me the hell out of here, I'm going AWOL. I'm oh, not, good for you. I'm not going to stay in. Good for wow. you. I said, because I, I'm not lucky when it comes to service time. I always go overseas. And you exceeded your time. You were yes. there two years and without a break. Yeah. Yeah. So so how did you see he just agreed? So well, I managed guy, to get out. The guy and, next door to us was set by then secretary to somebody yeah. in Washington. He had some job in Washington. Okay. And I think uh, Charlie. I think Charlie, yeah. I think Charlie. strings yeah. for yeah. you. I really do. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. And did you, did you receive notice? That you yeah, were how did you find out that you were by mail or the phone call? Yeah, how did you know that you didn't have to go back? I'm not sure how I heard. Oh, it know. didn't, it was, it took a little while. I mean, you don't yeah, suddenly. It didn't happen overnight, happen. that's for sure. <laughs> overnight. But you were supposed to go back in a month and then it didn't happen. You, what did you do after that? No, then? it happened before I went back. Right. Okay. So I managed to stay out. Okay. And then what did you do at that point? I got a job. That's when you started working. Uh, and well, at first I tried out for hockey, okay. Oh, you did? Yeah, for, for uh, hockey at Philadelphia, the professional team. Yeah, that's right. And yes. June said to me, would you please get a job because you're not getting <laughs> any money from this. <laughs> I mean, trying to live on the, uh, nowadays, I mean, they get thousands. Yes. But then, then, they didn't get anything. I said, that's all good and well, but get a job. We need some money. Grandma, that is. Oh, you want chocolate? Yeah. Chocolate just good for scraped knees. Um, hey guys, you, you are rock stars, and I'm doing this. Um, thank you very much. I I'm actually going to do this every time I come home. All right. So you're these are going to be the Grandma and Pa diaries. So okay. I'm sorry, you're going to have me coming and recording from <laughs> well, now think on. Think of other stories and make yes. notes so you have information.